Welcome, my name is Aichanbot. I used to be a dedicated Yu Gi Oh! dueling streamer, but since we got banned now, we have time for more sh other shenanigans, let's call it that way. And this lady here in the background got me really triggered, and um, no matter how mad she makes me, I just want to take a different approach, and we are not going to try to shame this lady for her personal opinion because freedom of speech. She I just wanted to take, uh, how to say, a look at her behavior on Twitch and how it triggered the community and actually what the response of this is because a lot of people like after like this thing this whole scandal thing happened and um, she got a lot of shame on Twitter and a lot of followers just like uh, unsubscribed to her unfollowed her whatsoever but I've checked the stats and it's not what people are trying to tell you it's actually the opposite. So this lady here is not as unpopular as you think. I want to access this one here from a different point of view. Like if we would access this thing as a whole negative polarizing marketing campaign and what the results of this actually are. So it's not about shaming even though I do not agree with her personal opinion. She has completely freedom of speech and can say whatever sh she wants. And we're just going to access it, how this affected her channel, how this affected the, uh, the fans and the community. And no matter what people say, I can show you the stats in the end. So let's first watch the video for the people who haven't seen it yet. It's a quite triggering thing. So. I'm trying to behave myself and then we are going to try to get into, um, how to say, an assessment. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing. Because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20, like that's where it is. But a sub is $5. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are, if you have time to watch Twitch. Okay, I have already to stop here because she's talking about $5, which is, uh, according to her, not much money, but then she made the reference to what currency that ever might be it's maybe just like ten dollars for you which is completely bullshit we know that i mean most of my viewers are brazilians i know how much one dollar in brazilian real is i know what five dollars in brazilian real is it's basically a fortune a dinner and a lunch and in in other countries like if thailand for example or indonesia or most of the countries the brc countries five dollars is a fortune so this white lady here, maybe from America, I'm not sure where she's really from, has no idea how much $5 on earth actually means, depending on which region you are looking at, okay? And now we keep on going with the other opinion which she had after that. Which you have, you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working, you should be trying to earn money, uh, it's not a ton. It's not like a ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. <laughs> okay, second opinion is, if you don't have 5 or $10 or whatever currency that might be, you should go work and earn that money and then spend it on her. If I understood that correctly. I just have to process this. Okay. So I work a 9 to 5 job as an engineer. I can afford 5 to $10 to spend on entertainment. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been playing Duel Links because it was eating up my money. But for me to put like $5 or $10 in some kind of entertainment, which I personally enjoy, I have to do it out of my own free will. And 
I don't feel really how to say attracted when someone is like demanding me to do so. That's why most games which are pay like where you have to pay to play for it, that's where most people like say no, we don't want to do that. And I guess into this point she's like already how to say ethically like driving people away with that comment. I'm not sure if she realized that. So this is like basically the two points which is like totally polarizing in this whole message. The first thing is like five dollars not a lot of money which is uh, yeah as I said depending on the region you're looking at it can be a lot. People yeah it's just like how to say a very offensive way to look at this whole topic of five dollars in any way and the second opinion is like um, if you don't if you cannot afford to sub to this channel then you should go to work until you can afford it and come back and then sub to the channel it's a very how to say demanding and dominating way and now let's go into the analysis okay so basically what people after so after this clip went around the world I can show you the clip so if I move the clip over here you can see actually this clip has almost a million views on Twitch and from a marketing point of perspective that's free advertisement she couldn't have done it any better so this is the best thing you could have done like making a polarize, polarization how to say clip or a clip or a message or opinion or whatsoever which is so polarizing that people get all mad about it and then just stream over to your channel and watch this clip that's why you have a million views on that and then uh, I read a lot on Twitter like after this message was gone viral and everybody was shaming her and this is so wrong let me show you what happened this is basically uh, her channel on Social Blade. For the people who doesn't know that tool yet, it's really helpful to keep track on the health or the growth of your of your channel. So this is Invader V's channel on Twitch. And as you can see here, there has been a spike up and a spike down, right? So this basically marks the incident. I don't know what happened like uh, at the end of March where she got the boost and, and 99,000 followers. like just literally followed her in the month of March 2020 but when the incident happened in May like 76 town followers like basically left her I think because of what she said that of that clip what we just saw before right but if you can do math okay now we're coming back to you your math let's go if you can do math so in March 99,000 people followed her and in May only 76,000 followers dropped her. You can do math, right? It's still about plus 20,000 something. So actually what, what happened here, she didn't do nothing wrong. It's like mathematically she did the correct thing and she went even out with a plus. And after that, it's just business as usual, nothing happened. And if you like go into um, the future projections of her channel, you will see it's a straight line to over 600,000 followers until, I don't know, Julie, July 25. So what she did basically on her channel didn't affect her in any way negative. It just gone viral, gave her exposure and um, yeah, make people talk about her. That's all. And that might be even like the whole intention of this whole thing. So maybe she wanted to polarize with her clip. possible not possible for marketing point of view this was a very successful campaign the ad has paid off by itself the message was polarizing so basically what, what I get told in my company every time we have like a bad campaign running the marketing manager is going to say yo the campaign was so successful it polarized a lot of different opinions out there we got so much feedback we have to evaluate on this so basically every time marketing fails there's like this was so polarizing it's good no matter how hard the shit storm is, okay? So basically, marketing successful. And now let's take another look at her channel. 
because people said, oh, she will be gone from Twitch and whatsoever after the incident and nobody will be watching her anymore, blah, blah, blah. Yo, lady, still got 175,000 followers. Okay, I knew that people said that she had 200,000 before, so maybe she lost some. But according to what I saw on Social Blade, it's a plus, it's not a minus, okay? Right? And as you can see here, she streamed end of July, beginning of August, on regular or non-regular base, gets a lot of video views, gets on Saturday, Sunday, a lot of followers in usually like 300, 400. So basically, in overall, when she is streaming, she is growing, right? So no really negative impact of this whole whatsoever going on. Channel again. Yeah, and I think if you go here into the channel, as you can see here, so the last time streamed is like 16 hours ago, already over 700 views. And the day before yesterday, so maybe Monday she streamed, already over 1,000. So her usual videos gets over 4,000 until 8,000 views. So tell me what did go wrong here. I don't think that actually from a marketing perspective, like if Twitch was only business and that is her main job, she did an awesome job. <laughs> she really did an awesome job because created exposure, made people polarize, talk about her, gain free advertisement of anybody who retweeted this whole clip on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatsoever. And um, I didn't know about this channel before, before I saw like uh, the Twitter post and before I saw the Twitter post again in the YouTube video. Otherwise, I wouldn't have checked this out. And um, yeah, if you just go like over her socials, like Instagram, Twitter, nothing happened. It's, it's not like stagnating, it's just growing. So from a business point of view, considering Twitch as your main job platform and as a professional streamer, you can question that um, this method was ethically correct or not and if her message was ethically correct or not, because it's not. But from a business point of view, it was a very successful campaign. She did everything right she did there. So. Or even if, it, if, even if this was not intentional, it's still very successful. If that was intentional, lady, you genius. <laughs> you literally genius. <laughs> genius. And whatever the other people say, invalid. Your channel is not dropping, it's growing. And um, people not unfollowing, but following you even grow like over 20,000 followers, even though they dropped, yeah. So this, this whole incident is still plus 20,000 followers that is not a problem and after that just business as usual so unless like she feels somehow kind of how to say molested or whatsoever personally attacked by a lot of people i don't think that anything is going to happen so unless she leaves twitch on her own free will her channel will just keep on growing and not only because of the content, obviously people enjoy for whatever reason, and her also, how to say, polari polarizational opinion and free, uh, the speech of her, but also because the exposure just created around this whole scandal thing. As I can't even, I can't even write down the value in this, what happened. Like, if you could, like a price tag, on this whole marketing situation which happened around her like basically for free it's like whoa if that was done by an intern of mine i would promote him to manage it now <laughs> like dude you did a great job <laughs> you created this whole scenario around it the whole legendary mythical like twitch thoughts <laughs> whatsoever and now it's like viral over everywhere Thank you, customer, client is very satisfied with it, channel is growing, subs going up. Well, the only thing I couldn't check out here is actually her sub count, if it did really go up or not. This is basically just assumption. Yeah. So no matter how much um, the message in the end triggered me from an ethical perspective of you, as a former brand manager and marketer, I have to say, wow, 
this was a brilliant campaign and I would recommend anyone <laughs> who wants to go that same direction with her with their brand you know just do the same thing just be like as polarizational as possible just go full into that and you will get a lot of exposure and you still grow even after what you did or said nobody cares yeah holy <laughs> I can't watch this egg video again, otherwise I would rewatch it again. But the five dollar thing and the other thing is just like, oh my god. So from from a human point of view, I have to five hundred percent disagree with her. But as a marketing person, I have to say, brilliant, literally brilliant. High five to you, girl. High five. Wow. Can't find any words. I guess that's the reason why um, other normal like female streamers are called out when they even just stream without a webcam, which happened to me lately. I was streaming without webcam, just teamfight tactics, ranking up very normally. And then some random dude came into the chat and just like, yo, you are a 2D thought. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not even showing my face. What's <laughs> your problem with that? But when I see then this lady like here, I can now somehow understand it. But since we are not going to shame her, we analyze the stats of the channel. Um, we showed that actually this whole scandal had like no effect on her personal or channel growth. Let's call it that way. So in overall, if I have to um, validate or how to say put a review on this whole campaign thing, I would say it's a sump up. <sighs> not from an ethically human point of view, but well, that's how business is. And Twitch, as I learned, is business so most people like these here are doing it like full-time they are living from that so they need to create a haze like a hustle around them it's not like just a hobby doing it beside your nine to five job like I do yeah but this thing kind of also opened my eyes again I like to understand your personal view of this entitled streamer shames viewer for not subbing during a global crisis clip and yeah, I also wonder what the person who actually made that clip was thinking. Was he thinking like, okay, if I made that clip and post it around the internet, all people would come and hate her? Was that guy thinking, oh yeah, this is a really great content, I should totally post it on uh, the Twitter, and then everybody would retweet it, and this would make her even more popular and more known and give her more exposure in the end? I I'm not sure what the people was thinking like when he made that clip and sent it around to the world. Yeah. But if that was intentional, was brilliant. If that wasn't intentional, still brilliant from a marketing point of view. But from an ethical and human point of view, pathetic, sad face, shake, shake, shake my heart. Just shake my heart, yeah. So thank you for watching. Maybe in future we can do more of these since I have now more time to rewatch this stuff. If you have another, how to say, polarization video or content coming up, send a clip to me, I'm gonna review it from the Twitch business point and marketing point of view with my glasses <laughs> and check on the stats in the background and tell you what the results actually are. So thank you for watching, see you next time, I jump on.